here we have another configuration where we have a single pole switch controlled circuit with the feed at the switch, but this is also paired with a lamp controlled by a pull chain switch. It's, it's important for you to, to know, know this um, circuit very well. It is a popular one that appears on the BGCSE exam. And so it would be prudent for you to understand how to wire this. So the speed is at the switch. We splice or shear the main source hot, send one to the first switch, which is a single pole switch inside the switch box. And then we take from that switch, the switch feed, send it all the way to the first keyless. Um, and this keyless, we will connect it to the brass or bronze terminal. The main neutral, we will send up through the pipe and we have to shear it between both lamps. So we will splice it, connect it to the silver terminal of the first um, keyless, send it along and connect it to the second keyless. Now this hut that we would have sheared at the beginning, we send it all the way through and connect it to the brass terminal of the, the lamp that is serviced by the pull chain switch. It's very important for you to understand that when a lamp or a device has its switch attached directly to it, you will send a black directly to it and not a switch feed red. If you had made the mistake, as many do, to splice the switch feed and send it along to the secondary lamp, this single pole switch would overwrite or override this pull chain switch and would only be controlled. This lamp would only be controlled whenever the single pole switch is turned on. So no current would get to this lamp if you if you if you shear the switch feed as opposed to shearing the main source hot. So keep that in mind. Keep that in mind. I hope you got that for emphasis. I'll repeat. It's important for you to share the main source hot between the single pole switch and the keyless that is controlled by the pull chain so that this switch will independently control this light while this single switch will independently control this light. So we have two different controls independent of each other. And here is just a switch, a light with a pull chain independently controlled. And this pull chain um, switching circuit would be popular in places like your closet. If you have a large closet or even a small, small enough closet, but it's in a dark area. A pull chain switch would be used to control a light within that closet, as opposed to trying to mount a switch on the wall um, if you don't want to. And that's a wiring diagram for that configuration. Now, in many cases, you will find these, this happening where two single pole switches are sharing the same device box and they are independently controlling devices. So in this case, you, the source is at the first lamp. You will send the main block straight through to the switch box where you will share it between both switches. That is key. Remember to share it between both switches. When you share it between both switches, then you have two independent lines, switch feeds that are going through the main pipe. When they go back through the main pipe, you will connect one to the first lamp 
then you will send the next one through and connect to the next lamp. And again, we are only connecting switch feeds onto the brass terminal. From the source, we will splice the white or shear the white, connect it to the silver terminal, and then send it through to be connected to the next silver terminal on the opposite lamp. So there you have it. Two lamps individually controlled by single pole switches and the feed is at the lamp. Now, here we have two more examples of the same things that we have been through. And this will actually help you with your wiring diagram that you will have to do as an activity. Right here we have a pictorial view. Sorry, we have, we have a pictorial view on this side. And on this side, we have a schematic view where the symbol of the lamp is shown there, the symbol of the switch and the color wires that feed the lamp. So obviously we have the black wire entering the switch, which is hot. We have the red wire leaving the switch, which is the switch feed and it's connecting to the lamp. And we have the independent neutral, which comes from the main circuit breaker and it now connects to the opposite side, or as we know, the silver screw on the keyless receptacle. In the pictorial view, that's how we see it. The feed is at the switch, the main black comes in, red goes out, white goes out, connects to the lamp. On the left side, on the right side, sorry, we have, we have the same thing except that the feed is now at the lamp. At the lamp, we will bypass the lamp with the main black, send it to the switch. From the switch, we'll take the red, tie it back to the lamp at the brass terminal. And of course, the source neutral goes directly onto the lamp. So there you have the wiring of a single pole switch into a circuit and as you can see the colors that we use in this circuit are black red and we would use brown for white when we are doing our wiring diagram if needs be we will also attach the ground screw to the grounding terminals now 